everyone, it's April and welcome back to another week and another studio vlog. It is currently Tuesday evening, I just finished work so I thought I would do a little intro while we have some daylight left. I put my last studio vlog up last night and people really seem to like Beryl so I'll let her know, she'll be pleased. Um, there was just something silly that I wanted to do because everyone else has a pet, it seems, and I don't have one and I really want one. So my plants are kind of like my pets, I guess. I mean, I feed them, I try and keep them alive, and I do talk to them too. So yeah, Beryl's had a bit of a time out this week though because she was quite naughty last week, but she will be back in the future. So thanks to everyone who watched that and commented. Um, it really makes me happy to see people's comments and stuff and kind of connect with everyone. So yeah. So I just finished work, we had a bit of a crazy day today. I started off with literally one project to do. It was meant to be for two days and then something else like got delayed so I had four days to do it. So I was just chilling out, relaxing, laying back, being all cool. I wasn't shooting any people outside the school though, but Fresh Prince reference there. Taking my sweet time and then suddenly, bam, 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 emails from everyone. I had like three different projects that people needed amends on so I thought oh I have heaps of time so I'll do that and I'll do that and I'll do that and then I put my other project aside thinking I've got three more days and then I got another email towards the end of the day saying uh, there's an urgent video that needs doing emergency video so uh, now my project which I did have four days on I now have to do it in one day tomorrow so I was panicking a little bit and uh, yeah I just finished literally just turned my computer off and came in here so I've got the evening ahead of me. I'm gonna do some painting, some houses, and I'm gonna uh, finish my last week of my art school, my very first art school video that I'm trying to do. So I've got one more week left to go on that, and then I have to spend a couple of thousand hours editing because I do have a lot of footage for that one. And completely unrelated, I've been having these headaches for the last couple of weeks, like in the afternoon, and I think it's because my hair is so long now and so heavy, and I, I wear it up a lot in ponytails and things. It's been dragging me down, and I have come so close to almost chopping it off myself a couple of times. But I'm gonna wait until the hairdressers are back, and then I think I'm gonna go quite short, like here, because that's what I used to have. And I do like having the long hair, but also at the same time, it's a pain. It really is a pain. But I, uh, so I haven't been wearing it up today. I got out of the shower this morning and I put it in like a plait or a braid down the side of my head, my um, down the side of my head like this, and it just dried like this, and it's so pretty. I can't stop looking at it. Oh, it's so nice. So I might do that in the future. But that was completely on a, on a like completely on a tangent. I just wanted to share that with you because I was quite impressed by how my hair looks today. So uh, with all that said, let's start the vlog. It is about nine o'clock now. I just finished. It's still a little bit, it's still a little bit wet, but I just finished my uh, house painting. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. It looks like a little, new, little New York, one of those New York lofty kind of things that you see on telly. I don't know. I kind of like put the, the pink in the background and I did a whole bunch of different colors and I almost ruined it at one point, but I think I pulled it back from the brink. So that's done. Unfortunately, I still have a quite a bit more drawing to do. For my like practice stuff that I'm trying to do. The problem is today I was a little bit distracted. Obviously I had work which turned out to be quite a busy day today but in between like in the morning and the lunch time and um, after work before I was making dinner and stuff I was playing on my Switch. Martin's Switch. I was playing on the Switch. Uh, Animal Crossing. It's not even that good guys. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I can stop any time I want. Um, so now I have to draw and I can play some more <laughs> before I get to bed. But yeah, uh, these house paintings are taking quite a while actually. The, the fruit ones were only taking about 20 minutes to 30 minutes roughly. These ones are taking like an hour just because they're so tiny and you look at the house and you think it's really simple, right? Just a rectangle. So I think I'll just paint a rectangle, pop some windows on. But then you have, you have to like try and do the shadows and the detail and the window frames and yeah, it's quite a lot of work actually, but I'm still really enjoying it. So I just thought I'd pop in, um, say hi and show you my painting and I'm going to do some practice drawing before I head to bed. So hopefully tomorrow, well, what I was actually going to say is um, I need to start trying to do these in the morning again. I was doing them before work, which worked out really well because I just did it before work. It was a really nice way to start the day. And then I would take a picture at lunchtime in the daylight. And now it's obviously night time, hence the terrible lighting in here. So taking photos at night isn't the best. 
so tomorrow I will try I'll get back to you tomorrow and let you know how I go with that but for now um I'm off to draw some more I hope you're off to draw some more too I hope you're drawing right now actually and if you are drawing let me know what you're drawing I'm gonna draw some oh it's a secret I can't tell you It's the evening, it's just after work now and um, had quite a long, stressful, busy day at work. I'm just like super, ugh. And our office chairs are getting really uncomfortable now because they're losing all their padding and I just had a lot of a lot of work to do and I'm just a little bit in a bad mood. So we're gonna go for a walk because I think that'll be a nice way to kind of separate work day from home day. And it does look a little bit chilly out, but that's fine. I'm gonna go to the woods for a little bit. And also, I'm super happy because I just had a notification pop up on my phone. Oh, it's a uh, bye bun. It was a bit bright, but bye bun has a new video out and I'm very excited. I think she's the only person I have my bell on for notifications because she doesn't um, post much. And I was, I actually have, I have to rejoin her Patreon because I, I unjoined a while back when I was trying to save some money. So I'm sure she's got a buttload of videos to catch up on. But yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm going to watch that when I get home. Martin's cooking dinner again tonight. So I've got a bit of free time to uh, edit my video for tomorrow and do some drawing. So yeah, even should be a, a bit better than today was, hopefully. So it's at 10.30, just finished editing my video for tomorrow and it's rendering now. So I just come to sit on the floor in the bedroom because I'm really tired. I have the camera precariously perched on a stack of books. I'm going to take a photo. Literally my camera stand thing is over there but I took the time, three and a half minutes to be exact, to stack this uh, these books up. So good use of time. Uh, I'm a bit tired, so I'm not really making much sense right now. But I have to do my I have to do my thumbnail and I have to do my up, the upload and everything before I go to bed tonight because it's very exciting. I actually have a collab coming out with Connie, and uh, hopefully you would have seen the video by now. But if not, I'll leave a link to it. And what we're doing is we're trying to uh, bring both our videos out together because Connie lives in Australia. I live in England so what I'm doing I'm gonna upload mine tomorrow morning and she's gonna upload hers in the evening which will be tomorrow morning because she's ahead of me right now so that's why I'm getting up so early but just in case you haven't seen the video I'll pop a picture up on the screen now so you can kind of see what we did it was super fun uh, we took absolutely eight well I don't want to say we I took absolutely ages to finish my half Connie was finished two weeks ago and I what well, I kept like didn't procrastinate but I've just been busy I've been doing stuff you know I've had so many art projects on the go so I uh, put it a little bit on the back burner but I fi finally finished it so that's going up tomorrow and yeah I'm really happy about that I hope that you liked it and that if you haven't go check out Connie because she's an awesome artist as well and I actually just love listening to her videos because I love her voice it's just a lovely soothing accent it's just lovely to listen to I haven't really done anything else today just did that my little painting off some houses 
and I won't be working all day. So I'm working all day, that's all I'm doing. So hopefully tomorrow, I've got to do some drawing because I haven't done any drawing for two days now, apart from little paintings, but I don't really think they count because it's not like practicing or anything. I know I should give myself a break, but you know, you just gotta keep going, otherwise you're gonna stop. Martin, is there a saying with a car and rusting? Just gotta keep them wheels moving, otherwise they'll rust. So it's Saturday morning and I didn't vlog all week. There wasn't much going on, trust me. I was just doing my 100 day paintings and I don't know, I don't want to overwhelm the vlog with lots of little paintings. I think that would get old very fast, so I haven't been filming those. I was just doing the 100 day paintings in the evening and a little bit of sketching and stuff. Nothing crazy. So I thought I would try and get lots done this weekend like I normally try to do. And I do have a long list this weekend. So the main thing I'm going to do this weekend for Etsy is to try and get my postcards done. And that is going to be the final thing I'm going to do for Etsy product wise for the first opening. I do have lots of other stuff that I want to get done like in the background. Like I have new sticker pack ideas and some print ideas and stuff. But obviously I'm not just going to keep waiting. I have plenty of stuff to open the shop with. So I'm going to get these postcards done and then as soon as they arrive like in between me sending them off and getting them back. I'm going to try and finish my website, do product uh, shots, descriptions, like get everything set up. And then hopefully we'll be ready to go. So that is my plan this weekend. So I need to choose the images I'm going to do, find a printer to do them. Because I was going to go with Moo.com, but I've been looking around for some cheaper options. Um, and then design the back, get them all sent away. And that is going to be the big thing this weekend. Um, I also need to do some more work on my website just to keep it kind of going and some other stuff too like my 100 day project and some other arty stuff so it should be a pretty good fun filled weekend but before we get going i'm going to show you some stuff that arrived in the mail the other day on my desk right now i'm just getting ready to do the 100 day project so i've got two houses here two houses that i'm going to do this morning and i think you can see that because they're sketches but I'm, I'm a day behind and it's been bugging me for a while so I'm going to try and catch up and the first one that I'm going to do is this crazy lime greenhouse. It's in Burano in Italy and I've actually done another image from Burano but man the colours draw you in don't they? Can't get away from it so I'm doing that but first I'll just show you what came in the mail. Literally nothing that exciting but it's for my Etsy so I had this paper cutter. Whoop. Which I think they're pretty common. I've seen quite a lot of people use this one. Um, I've heard bad reviews and good reviews. So I want to see how it goes. I'll just try and be gentle with it. I broke my last paper cutter by trying to cut 30 pages at once. So I won't do that again. And then I got these boxes here. Pack your own, like make your own boxes. Here's one I made earlier. And I thought I have all of my packaging for like zines, uh, stickers, pins but then I thought what if someone orders a zine and a print and a sticker and it's kind of clay pin I can't put that in an envelope so I got these little boxes and they're quite small I'm gonna have to tape them because they're not very secure but yeah I thought that that was quite cute cute it just fits in the post box how do you know I know it fits in the post box you ask well because I have this so this is what they use in England the Royal Mail Service and it's for uh, sizing things. So this here would be a large letter size, like this. And then this one here would be a letter size. So this is what I'm hoping to get my zines through if the, if people don't order anything more than a zine. I know that a zine and, a, and a, like a freebie sticker fits through here, but sometimes the people, the ladies in the post office, they're a bit mean and they say it doesn't fit through here. So I thought I would get this now just so I can double check everything, especially before I start doing pricing because if I do it as a letter size but then I have to pay for a large letter it's actually quite a bit more depending on where it's going in the world so yeah this is super handy it was like maybe three or four pound on Amazon so pretty good that was mail with April and now I'm gonna get my paint on
about one o'clock now. I think I spent three hours roughly doing these two little houses. Um, I did have a break in between though to play Bananagrams with Martin. Another successful game of Bananagrams to me. And I won. Although he says I didn't win because I used the word czar. But she said it isn't a word, but I'm pretty sure it's a word czar. Like an ancient word maybe, like Arabic or Persian czar. Tell me if I'm right, because I, I still think I won. Definitely, I definitely won that game. So, I've done two little houses. They look very different from each other. I'll show you. So this is the first one. It's, uh, yeah, I think I showed it on camera. So very colourful. Uh, these are clothes hanging on the washing line, but I don't know, they, they look a little bit muddy, like they kind of kind of blend in a little bit. And then this is the other one I did. I just finished it now. It's kind of like a Victorian house. It reminds me of the house from Charmed. And it was a little bit tricky to do just because of all the different layers. You can see it's a little bit wobbly. But that adds to the charm of it, I think. So yeah, these took ages. These houses are taking so long because they're so detailed. But it's fine. I got these two done today. And then I'll just continue doing one a day tomorrow. Something really sad happened as well. I just, as I was finishing the second painting, the little house painting, uh, I just finished the second book of Harry Potter, the audiobook, I'm listening to it right now. The first one was free, the second one I got from Audible, I paid like a subscription, but it turns out you can only listen to one book a month. I thought you could listen to more, I thought it was like unlimited, but apparently one credit is one book. So I don't know whether to wait a month or you can buy another credit, it's like £7 to listen to it, but to be fair, it's like 7 hours 12 hours i don't know how long it is of entertainment so that's pretty good in my books in my books get it so it's lunchtime now probably go have some lunch and then after that i'm gonna look in my book in my bullet journal my bullet journal so organized look at all these lists of things i'm gonna do oh exciting isn't it um okay so don't my uh i think i'll pop onto the computer i think i'll pop onto the computer after lunch and do my blog and start looking at postcards and then tonight we'll do some more drawing because I always feel like drawing at night time. It's uh, about 4.30 in the afternoon after lunch I got on to the blog and I've been basically uploading my blog for like the last three hours and I put mascara on my eyes this morning because I thought it might be nice just to you know put the makeup on and it's made my eyes so irritated i had to wash all my face and my eyes are so sore i feel like really sleepy and my eyes are really itchy and looking at the computer is not fun but i'll show you what i'm doing to do my blog it's very tedious so i've got two screens here uh on this one is my old blog and i'm to basically just copying and pasting all of the content into this which is webflow so on webflow it works differently you have like a list of your blog posts here and then you fill it all out like the title all your content images etc and then at the bottom you have the image the main image that you want to use thumbnail image date and then you can put it into a category and then you kind of save that and then on the blog page itself i have saved it now to look like this well i didn't save it. i changed it to look like this so it's like a nice little box thumbnail image on the left title and a little like readout and then you just click on the blog it takes you into the blog page so yeah it's pretty cool it's fun looking at some of my old blog posts too i haven't most of the stuff is from like 2018 and i used to do these blog posts called um art life snacks and they were like monthly favorites and yeah it's just really nice to have a look back but fun funny thing i was looking at this one here and i was just copying all the information 51 comments So I was having a look at the comments very exciting comments. I'm telling you guys This is my first time pay a visit at here, and I am in fact impressed to read everything at single place Thank you gamely free trial. That's so nice of you to say I am generally grateful to the owner of this web page who has shared this fantastic paragraph at here. Thank you gamely free trial That's lovely to hear See if we can get another one. If you wish for to improve your experience, only keep visiting this site and be updated with. The latest news update posted here. Thanks, guest bars cheap. That was a lovely comment. 
I think I'm gonna have to get a better spam filter on my next vlog. 51 comments. I'm touched. I've been cutting onions for five minutes and it's really done wonders for my sore eyes. It hasn't. I'm making katsu curry tonight for dinner. It's from Wagamama's in the UK. If you guys know Wagamama's, it's like a Japanese restaurant thing. They have this katsu curry which is super famous and they've released the recipe like a month ago and I've been meaning to make it for ages so I'm gonna make it tonight. Katsu curry, should be pretty good. It's kind of like a mild curry. You have it over breaded chicken or breaded vegetables. Tonight we're doing tofu because tofu is amazing. And I do remember, I remember one time I went to Wagamama's with my sister and she couldn't decide whether to get the katsu curry or another dish and the waiter just looked at her and said don't get the katsu curry everyone gets the katsu curry which is true pretty much everyone gets the katsu curry it's like incredibly famous so i'm gonna try and make it tonight i don't know if it would taste like the same but i'm sure it'll be delicious so the recipe calls for onions ginger and garlic and i thought i'd show you quickly this little plate we got in south africa so it's a little plate we got it from a little market and basically you um get the garlic or the ginger or whatever peppers I don't know what else you can use it for and you like rub it up and down on the plate and then it picks all the garlic up and it kind of makes it into a paste it is fun to use but you have to be careful with your fingers sometimes so that's kind of what it does turns it into like a paste leaves all the stringy bits behind which is pretty good so I've got the sauce bubbling away. It definitely looks like katsu curry, but I don't know, it kind of tastes a little bit like, it's very coconutty with the coconut milk in it. Okay, so I, I cut my tofu up and I just pop some soy sauce on so it'll be wet enough, hopefully, to uh, dunk into these panko crumbs, panko breadcrumbs, and make some crispy tofu. Well, these crumbs are like massive. I don't think it was wet enough. That's what she said. So I had to look up a, a thing online to figure out how to do this. So basically, you just do it like you normally would. So you pop it in the, the flour. This is self-raising, so I hope it doesn't like, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen to it. And then I'm using uh, oat milk here, and I guess that kind of acts like the egg in a, in a regular bread in recipe. And then the, uh, the old brick crumbs there seems to work pretty well. Ta-da! Just show you in daylight this is the katsu curry and yeah it's pretty tasty it doesn't really taste much like wagamama's but it's looking pretty good they normally serve it with some uh, salad but it's the weekend so <laughs> who needs vegetables on a saturday right it's 11 o'clock on sunday and i spent the morning doing research for postcards so last night i went on photoshop and i looked at all of my scans i've scanned them from my sketchbooks and stuff uh to kind of pick some images and what i was thinking of doing what I was thinking of doing is like half five postcards that would be like my sketchbook postcards and then five postcards that would be digital postcards kind of like digital work but then I realized that I've actually done all of my digital work like all of my kind of stuff that I really like I've already made into stickers and stuff so I do like quite a lot of my sketchbook pages and I really love uh, Lee Ellickson. She's got postcard sets, like sketchbook sets and I have one of her sets and she sells them 10 at a time and I really, really love them and I kind of like interchange between them so I always have two or three up at a time. And I was kind of thinking doing something like that, like sketchbook postcards because they're not good enough to be prints, like they're not gonna be expensive prints and they're not that detailed, so you, you can't really do much with them. So I thought uh, postcards would be awesome because they're kind of like, I really like them. And I was just hoping that other people might like them too. So I was thinking of just doing like a really small batch of them just to see if they sell. And then obviously if they're popular or they do sell, as I make more sketchbook posts in the future, I'll just bring out like new ones. So like always update them, update them every four, three or four months, four or five months, I don't know just whenever I have new sketchbooks because I'm not really in my sketchbook that much which is something that I do want to get back into because I do miss being in my sketchbook quite a bit but just because I've been crazy with this Etsy stuff over the last couple of months I haven't really had time to do it and I've just taken on other projects and stuff but anyway totally getting off topic there um that's something I just need to talk to with my therapist my art therapist so postcards so yes I have been researching all morning about postcards and I mentioned yesterday I was looking at different places apart from moo.com so i found the four big ones 
the four biggish ones in England that I think people use. Okay, so we got Moo.com. Now, I was looking at 50 postcards and I was thinking 10 postcards, five of each, just to see kind of how they do, because I don't want to buy too many, just in case. Obviously, the more you buy, the cheaper they get, so 50 postcards is already a little bit expensive. If you were just going to buy like a thank you postcard or something like a marketing thing just to pop into your packages, um, I think to go with someone cheaper like Vistaprint would be perfect because they're quite cheap. You can get, I think it was you could get like 50 postcards for £10 or something, which is pretty good. But Vistaprint, when, when you're looking at multiple designs, that's when things start getting a little bit troublesome. So I start with me.com. So me.com, I was looking at 50 postcards. 10 different designs for those 50 postcards. You can do as many designs as you want, up to 25 for free. And with shipping included, it came to 31 pound for 50 postcards, which works out at 62p a postcard. Printed.com was the next best one. Well, it's kind of the best one if you're going for more. If you were gonna do 100 postcards, it worked out as 51p a postcard. But if you're doing 50 postcards, it works out as one pound and eight p a postcard. And that's because um, you have to, it, it, the free designs aren't included, so you kind of say, I want 10 postcards, and then it says, do you want multiple designs? And you say, yes, I want 10 designs. And then it gives you 100 postcards, 1,000 postcards. It gives you a lot of postcards. So when you worked it out like that, it was more expensive because technically you're buying 10 sets of five postcards, which is obviously quite expensive. Last one, awesome merch. So awesome merch do give you extra designs, but you have to pay more. It's like five pound for two designs, 10 pound for three designs, and it goes up like that. So when I was looking, the, the minimum you can buy is 100 postcards. And so for 10 designs for 100 postcards, it came to 85 pounds, which worked out as 85p. So actually still cheaper than printed.com, but still pretty expensive. So I think for this first batch of postcards, just to see if they sell if anyone likes them i'm gonna do them for uh for moo.com so i've already picked up my designs i was really kind of thinking i might need to put them on like etsy like I do an etsy poll or something to kind of see which ones people like but i don't know how that works when you have like 10 designs and yeah that would take time i, I don't know maybe i'm just worried everyone but like no one would reply and then it, it would be like no one actually likes this so i'm thinking i'm just gonna go for it and if people like it they like it and if they don't you know i mean i can just send one to my mum every year for the next 50 years will she live for 50 years i'm sure she will uh yes yeah, so that's what i'm gonna do this afternoon so i'm gonna pop onto that this afternoon i do have a couple of other things i want to do today i still need to do my my house and i want to finish up my video for my art school which hopefully will be coming out the start of june because i just want a couple of weeks to like edit it and get everything together for that one so yeah still have a very busy afternoon uh i think i'll do my postcards now actually so let's pop into the office and see what we're doing So I spent pretty much all day, all day in the office trying to do my postcards. It took a lot more work than I thought because I was trying to like get rid of the sketchbook seam and make a good composition for the postcards and stuff. So yeah, I've gotten to the place now where I've saved them all out and they're all ready to upload. But I do need to do the back of the postcards still, which won't take too long. I think I'll probably just do that and procreate. I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing. Okay, well this, this, this isn't one of them, but... Uh, most of the uh, images are from this sketchbook, the Moleskin sketchbook, which I've just lost that page. Just, there it is. And it's kind of like a weird, uh, it's not a weird layout, but it's a weird format compared to the postcards. So this is one of them. Uh, and this one fits fine, but some of the postcards, they kind of like come here and then here. So I'm about to start my, I'm about to do my, um, uh, some drawing for my video, my art, art school video, but I haven't drawn all day and my hands have been like just on the keyboard and the mouse, so they're a little bit like crunchy. So I thought I could take this opportunity 
to use some of my beautiful colored pencils. Not this one, that one was for the iPad. What's that doing in there? Um, and draw, just draw some something and have a wee chat with you because I haven't really been all business this weekend. All, all, all work and no play. Um, so I thought I'm gonna draw some cute little animals. I don't know why, but I just really feel like drawing raccoons. I think maybe I had a dream about raccoons the other day. This is probably going to be pretty rough. It's always rough when I start to draw an animal that I'd never had before. So yeah, it's been a pretty long day so far, long weekend. It's been pretty good, but um, I don't know if you ever get to like the end of a weekend and you've done heaps, but you kind of feel like you haven't done anything because you've been like just doing, I don't know. It's kind of, I've been feeling like that for a while. Maybe it's because we just haven't been on any day trips or out the house at all. So even though I'm doing stuff for like Etsy and it's super fun, well, I wouldn't say it's super fun, like editing photos isn't the, the most fun in the world, but at least I'm like moving forward towards my goal, which is super fun. Oh yes, yeah, so even though I'm doing that, it kind of still feels like you're working just because I work, I work here every day for work and then work here at the weekends for uh, second work. <laughs> Hopefully one day would be, will be my only work. We'll see. But I am looking forward to going on our walk later. I just need to try and get um, this last... I really should be just drawing that now, but I just honestly wanted to have a wee break before I did it. Because it's like all study, it's like study stuff, and it's quite intense in the old brain, you know? So, just thought I'd have a little break. So what have I been up to, apart from working? Not, not much, really. Um, I kind of feel like, I, I feel really bad because I haven't seen Martin all day. He's just been doing his own his own thing but we do live with each other and we are quarantined so basically have seen him every day for the last five months but it's still not the same you know what i mean he's been playing animal crossing he stole my animal crossing he moved into my island and we live there now together because you can only have one island on the switch so he was like playing that all morning which is cool buying his turnips whatever he was doing <laughs> this raccoon it always cracks me up when I first draw an animal for the first time because it's always like so awkward because <laughs> I'm like how do you draw this animal so yeah apart from working um I literally haven't done anything like that's all I've been doing just Etsy stuff drawing um YouTube videos I haven't run at all uh, I know I was meant to I was meant to do the carrot and the stick haven't done that uh but it's cool I honestly I haven't run for so long and not kind of you know run like a like I normally used to and I'm so unfit right now and it just kind of makes me feel a bit, a bit crap really like oh this time last year I was running like a lot so um it's fine because um as you know I like plans and I've got another plan new plan new running plan but this one's gonna work this time because I got a little help from my friends so basically I have um, a couple of friends and uh, one lady, she was actually training for London Marathon, which was meant to happen in April, but it was cancelled. So she stopped running too. And she was kind of at the same state as me, like lost her mojo a little bit, um, didn't really feel like it. So she started the Couch to 10K app with her other friend, her other running friend. And they go every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Like they do it at the same time but obviously separate from each other and then they have a little like group on whatsapp where they keep each other um what's that word what's that word i can't remember that word when no almost had it then accountable so yeah keep each other accountable and so um she, yeah she was telling me about that and she said why don't you just join us and i had a look and they're on week four which is still really easy it's like I think it's running for three minutes or something. Well, I'll run in for four minutes, walking for three minutes, and you can repeat that a few times. But it might just be the kind of thing I need, and just to have like accountability. So I joined their WhatsApp group, and I'm gonna do that um, from tomorrow. We're just gonna do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just building up slowly. And at, in one um, aspect, it's kind of sad because it takes me all the way back almost to the beginning of where I used to be. But on the other hand, uh, going for a walk run is better than not going for anything so that's just how i'm looking at it so yeah i will I probably won't mention it again because every time i seem to mention a goal like a fitness goal i just don't do it so i just thought i'd mention that now just so i don't do it no wait that doesn't work 
think the trick to drawing animals is knowing their shapes and then stylizing their shapes to get um, something cute. So the problem is when you first start to draw an animal, you don't know the shapes and your your hand and your arms and your eyes you just get a bit confused. Uh, that's what I tell myself anyway when I'm having a bad drawing. I just tell myself April. It's just your hands. I just don't understand how to draw a raccoon yet. It's fine. But yeah, I'll get there. I will draw a cute raccoon. Maybe not today. Probably not because I'm not going to draw many. But one day you will be mine. Cute raccoon. I've drawn a cute guinea pig. I've drawn a cute chinchilla. And I will draw a cute raccoon. So another exciting thing that's uh, kind of happened this week is I've gotten quite a lot of um, interest and uh, new people are following me. So if that's uh, you guys, if you're watching, thanks so much. Um, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers now, which is crazy. It was actually my goal this year. I don't normally share goals, but I kind of have like a private goal with myself um, that I wanted to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I also wanted to get to 300 uh, Instagram followers by the end of the year and I got to 300 the other day and I'm almost at a thousand so I'm gonna have to make myself a new goal which is pretty cool and I know that it's, it's just numbers at the end of the day but at the same time it's like exciting because it means people are liking what I'm doing and you know make they like my videos that I'm entertaining them I'm helping them I'm not sure it's really cool and yeah so if that's uh you who joined recently or you've been here since my really bad sketchbook videos at the beginning um thanks and hopefully we can continue to keep on going um i was talking to martin about it and he was saying that uh can you imagine having 1000 people in our flat because our flat's quite small and also we don't really like having people around um yeah i'm not really like much of an entertainer i don't mind going around to other people's houses and you know because you can leave whenever you want but if they're at your house you kind of have to like entertain them until they get tired and then like do hints like oh really late now gotta get off of work tomorrow and they're like april is sunday tomorrow and you're like yeah um so as you can tell i'm probably not the most exciting person to host a party but uh thinking about having a thousand people in your living room or in your flat is kind of crazy and i said to my end that I couldn't have more than maybe two people plus their dog in our flat at any one time. And then I wondered, I wonder if there's any dogs that are subscribed to my channel. Because that would be cool. Just like a little chihuahua or a, a labradoodle just sitting down watching me draw. I think that would be quite nice. I don't think that's... I, there's probably no, no dogs watching though because they don't have the opposable thumbs to click subscribe. Which is a really sad thought actually. I can't, I can't uh, do this much longer just because... I have to get on with my video but I think my hands have quite warmed up now and I've been watching Lee Ellickson uh, videos all morning while I've been doing my postcards and I had like seven videos to catch up on because I haven't watched her for ages I just sometimes I go through periods where I just don't watch YouTube videos I just like listen to posts I listen to podcasts or audiobooks and stuff and I've loved, always loved Lee Ellickson's um, artwork since I think I watched her very first video when she brought it out and that's when I started following her the um, art, art for a year, that, what, that video. And I love the way she adds like little things to her um, creatures, you know, like doodles and stuff. So I don't obviously want to be um, copying her, but uh, I really want to get better at that in the future because like right now, look, like there's a raccoon here and there's another raccoon. It's just floating in space. So I think at one point I kind of want to take a break from doing lots of studying because right now I've been, I feel like I've just been studying all, all, all month. So I kind of want to take like a little break and just get back to my sketchbook and try and come up with uh, other ways of making more exciting kind of compositions and stuff and tying things together and not, not having like doing like more sketchbook spready stuff because doing my postcard uh, things today, it was really fun and just go through my old sketchbooks and stuff and I used to be quite I used to be quite imaginative with, with the sketchbook stuff and I kind of feel like doing all this the Etsy things and products and stickers um, I've kind of gotten out of doing uh, spreads and compositions and I've kind of just been doing single things on their own so yeah I definitely want to kind of get back into the habit I think but that's gonna have to wait because I got a really big video to edit soon and I think it's going to be really fun. I really hope you guys like it when it comes out, the um, art school one. I've worked 
I've done a lot of work on it and that's not even editing yet so the editing is going to be crazy because I've got so many I think I've got like 44 gigs of video that the last time I saw it but yeah anyway that is it I'm just going to do these two tiny little raccoons right now and uh got my hands warmed up so thanks for watching me and listening to me blabber on about I can't even remember what we talked about now but uh, I'll see you later so it's Monday now, which means time to upload this studio vlog. I've uh, just edited it, I've edited it last night, so I'm just gonna pop this outro on and finish it up. Uh, last night I also finished my postcards and I sent them away to Moo, so hopefully they'll be here soon. Um, I'll probably share them when they come, I didn't wanna show them all on the vlog, but I'll probably share them on Instagram when they come, just to kind of like, hopefully get people excited for them. So yeah, that's my plan. And today it's an absolutely beautiful day. I uh, can't wait to spend all day sitting in front of a computer working. So I'm going to go do that and I hope that you guys have a lovely week. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.